Hey guys, so I'm back again with a chatty tutorial because I got a lot of good feedback on my last one from you guys saying that you'd prefer me to do more chatty ones instead of just voiceover sped up ones. So today I'm going to be doing a eye look revolved around the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I have a story to tell you guys about how I got my hands on this but I'll tell you later as I'm getting ready to save us some time. But can I just say I'm so excited to finally own this. This was literally number one on my wish list for so long and I never thought I'd be able to get my hands on it. So I'll be using that today. I'm so excited. I also got a few new products. I got this in the mail this morning. It's the Marc Jacobs Glow Stick. Look how red my nose is just from touching it. My skin is ridiculous. I was just going to show you this 700 Spotlight Glow Stick, which like I said I got in the mail this morning. It's like a wind up illuminator and Marc Jacobs actually sent me a couple so if you guys don't follow me on Instagram I'll link it down below because I will be giving some away on my Instagram. The weird thing was they sent a great product description of like what it does but it didn't have a price or where it's sold on there. Um, so I'll have to double check that and write it under the video. I've never got PR from Marc Jacobs before but I do vaguely remember having correspondence with the PR company so I presume they must sell in New Zealand to be able to send me this. Maybe it's just at the airport, but I'll double check and write it down below. You might actually be able to see I put the box over there in the background because I think it's beautiful. And apparently this shade is universal, so we'll get more into that as I use it. Let's just start off by clipping my hair back. I'm just going to start off with my second favorite primer. This has been downgraded, but I still love it. It's the YSL Top Secret Instant, Instant Moisture Glow. I need some water. It's not even that early, so I don't know why I'm struggling to speak. You guys will know if you've been keeping up to date with my videos, but I'm loving that Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. It's so thin and beautiful, but my skin is really dry right now, and this one is so moisturizing, but it's not heavy, which is really nice if you have like acne prone skin as well. I was reading the press release, which I kept for it yesterday, and it was saying something about it has like little droplets of water in it that shoot into your skin and like instantly absorb or I don't even know you know why I sell like their press releases are just so descriptive and amazing I love them it's like poetry about each product I'm like wow I need to start using my Colgate optic white again my teeth are looking kind of like dull a little bit yellowy it's not a good time I've been using a natural toothpaste so it's been good for my teeth but I might just like switch back for a little bit why don't I try this Sephora brush this is the domed stippling Number 41. Feels quite stiff on the face, but I don't think it's necessarily super dense. Like at the top, it's quite soft and not that dense. It's just because the bristles are so short. It's quite like, you know, I hope you can't hear this music. It's terrible. I don't even know. I'm on the like Discover Weekly thing on Spotify. And because I have so much like R&B music, the weirdest stuff pops up sometimes. It's like recommended for me. Okay, it kind of works better to do circular motions. Gives a very natural finish. Which is to be expected, I guess. That's kind of what stippling brushes usually do. I do like it though. It's very, very nice to give your foundation sort of a more natural finish. I really want to try shaving my face because everyone's talking about it. And I was like, I don't know if I want to try it. And then um, when I was at Chloe's, she was saying that even she does it. And I was like, oh, your skin looks so good. So it kind of like tipped me over the edge to convince me to try it. Maybe I could try it like for you guys and let you know how I'm finding it. I could do like a video on it. Would that be weird though? Like what would I even name that? I'd be like, shaving my face. <laughs> See how I do it? I don't even know. Alright, first impressions on that brush. I probably wouldn't use it for foundation. If you like a natural coverage and you've got nice like plump moisturized skin, I think it would be ideal for you. But for me, my skin's kind of dry and I need something to kind of like pet the foundation on more if you know what I mean. Just gonna use my LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is the porcelain shade and it's actually porcelain for once. It's not like orange. So I'm just gonna take that under my eyes. For some reason I can't stop playing that Three Strikes song from the Kylie Jenner ad. If you're wondering about my rings, I got these two here from Stolen Girlfriends Club and then these three here are Pandora rings. I have the white enamel daisy one from Pandora and then just like a stacker ring and this one's like a skinny bow with little diamante things in it. And then this is the large silver bow. It's just got little hearts and then like a black enamel heart on it. Which I thought would be a good colour to buy because I always wear black. Now before I forget we'll try out this Marc Jacobs Glow Stick. This is the shade 700 Spotlight. 
and it said on the press release that they have one universal shade so I presume this is the only one it comes in because um, yeah they sent me a couple and I was like oh they must have sent me all the shades it was just a couple of this shade here so I will be giving some away on my Instagram and it looks like a very icy kind of color so I'm not sure how this would go in darker skin tones but apparently it's universal so I guess I just swipe it up my face maybe I should warm it up first I'll see if it moves my foundation doing it this way. I'm just going to warm it up on my skin for a bit because it's really cold here today. It's kind of like dragging already. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. I'm just going to have to like mix it in with my foundation because it completely moved it. Oh, it is not sitting well. See, maybe this is why I need to shave my face. Amazing color. I added a little bit of foundation just around the perimeters to kind of help melt it in because it did dry a little bit faster than I was expecting. So maybe you don't do both cheeks at once, just do one at a time, but you can see that really beautiful glow. I can kind of see why they would say it's universal because it looks like light hitting my face. It didn't actually turn out as icy as I thought it would turn out, if you know what I mean? more just like a reflective kind of sheen rather than a color which is quite nice. For powder I'll just use my diffused light from Hourglass. This is such a nice light reflecting powder. I feel like we should keep that kind of look today. Keep the glow. Should probably kind of leave the cheek area unpowdered. My trusty elf blush brush for under the eyes. I didn't set my cheeks I just kind of left them. Oh right that is pretty much the base done. I might add a little bit of my Hourglass bronzer too. I've just been in my top bronzer lately. I haven't even opened to my new NARS Laguna yet because it's just so nice. Didn't really bring a bronzing brush over, so I'm going to try the MAC 128 brush. This particular MAC brush sheds like crazy. I don't know why. Kind of disappointing considering the price point for it was relatively high. I do really like their eyeshadow brushes, so they definitely do have some good brushes, but I just feel like for the price you are paying for them, every brush should be good. I got this recently from makeup.co.nz, I'll link them off down below, so good because they have overnight shipping, I love buying off there. This is the new HD blush in taupe, so NYX reformulated it, new packaging and everything, which I do like the new packaging, it's very cute, it's got a small little black bow. Um, but the colour is definitely more grey and almost has like a mauve tone to it. I've tried it a couple of times. I don't know how I feel about it. So I'm going to use it again today. Because maybe if I layer it over this kind of warmer product, it will look nice. It's definitely different to the old Topra blah, blush. If you guys remember, I used to love their product to death. But this one's nice too, like it gives a good amount of shadow. So it gets my tick of approval. I still think it's a great drugstore product for fair skin. For contouring, it's actually very similar to the middle shade in that designer brand's contour kit that I like. I have a couple of blushes here. I was going to use peaches to kind of like go with the theme of the Sweet Peach palette. So I could do that, or is that too much peach? Otherwise I bought over the Nude Spectrum palette from Zoeva. This is a blush palette, but this one here is kind of like nudey, bronzy shades. I don't know how pigmented this is, so I'll just start off with a little bit. Ooh! Oh, it's very pigmented. Okay. I forgot I hadn't set that highlight too, so it's really like... <laughs> Ooh! Super pigmented. Crap, I'm like moving around that highlight. Why did I do this? I also had this Artist Couture Diamond Powder to try, but is that going to be too much? I think I'll save this for another day because this is like intense pigment. My cheeks are already highlighted. Just did my brows really quickly. I kind of concealed over most of my eyebrow tattoos so that was a fail. But I'd go for like a bold brow today so that's what I'm feeling. I think I'll do something crazy in the inner corner. I want to use this white gel cream eyeliner from Colourpop. It's called Exit. So I'm just taking the Zoeva 240 Petite Pencil Brush and just running it through here. A nice product to work with so far it's very smooth this is the art deco eyeshadow base i love this one it's the perfect consistency i'm so excited oh my gosh i can't believe i actually own this and how gorgeous is that packaging it's ombre and the box it came in looks like this it's kind of got like a matte finish to it and then the gold detailing is reflective again it's ombre shows all these shades on the back Oop. 
it goes the card which nobody uses <laughs> you guys know i have an unhealthy love of peach like my old username used to be peachy teeful because youtube had like a username generator suggestion thing i tried to do peach iced tea and it was taken so i chose peachy teeful they should have had a shade called sex on the beach because that's a peach cocktail <laughs> they have got one called bellini which is also really good but anyway i'm going to start off with the shade candied peach it actually has glitters in it now that i look at it gonna take this with the crease brenda what brenda crease blender brush by exo beauty oh my gosh yes it's everything i dreamed of i feel like i should have done a white base though because you can kind of see how patchy my foundation's gone underneath oh well this is actually far far more vibrant like i don't know if you can see that in the pan it looks almost like a pastel but once it's on my lid, it is so bright. Why does it smell like aftershave in here? I swear it was this Art Deco primer. Let me just sniff this. Oh my gosh. This smells so much like men's aftershave. Now I'm really suspicious to use this on my eyes again. It smells really good. It smells like a good men's cologne, but should you really be putting that on your eyes? This one I'm gonna blow out and this one I'm gonna put more in the crease. I'm gonna clean all my brushes this afternoon. I'm dreading it. I've got so many there to clean. Now I'm going to go in with Summer Yum as previously stated. This is making me so hungry or like ready for a cocktail. It smells so good. Anyway, my story about this palette is that I kind of gave up on wanting it. Like it was something I dreamed of owning but they sold out in the US and I was just like they're never gonna come to New Zealand and then it randomly came in stock on Mecca online and I was just like oh my gosh like so happy scrambling through checkout trying to get it and then I realized they didn't ship to New Zealand like it was only on Mecca Australia not Mecca New Zealand and they only shipped within Australia and I quickly chatted Crystal Conti and I was just like have you ordered the sweet peach palette can I please post this to your house and she was like oh, I already ordered mine Basically, long story short, I sent my order to her house and she posted it on to me in New Zealand. So how nice is that? So nice of her. And now I've got it here in my hot little hands. So thank you, Crystal. I appreciate it so much. I have done videos with Crystal on my channel before, but I'll link her channel off down below if you guys want to go check her out. She is lovely. She's actually coming to visit soon with Dean. I'm really excited. They're going to be staying at our house. Now I'm gravitating towards these purples on the end. I think I'm just going to go right in with the shade Delectable. Put that on the lower lash line and on my lens stuff. And then I'll build the darker colours over it. Ooh, girlfriend, that is so pigmented. It smells like peach and it's got a little kawaii peach on it. Like in there. Look at it. I should have put like tape on my eye or something. I always forget and I just like do a man-made <laughs> sharp lines. I'm just kind of dragging that out. I always loved art and stuff in school. I don't know. Just at a young age, I was like, I'm not going to go to uni and do art. But now my job is pretty much art and I'm so happy. It's all thanks to you guys. I think that would be more of a bright purple, to be honest. But that's all right. We will roll with it. It just looks a bit lighter in the pan. Talk doobie to me. I'm going to take this shade here and kind of layer it over there, but not completely cover the color. Talk doobie to me. This is actually like potentially a black with purple glitters, I'm unsure. Been around the world, don't speak the language. But your booty don't need explaining. Look at me trying to blend out the crease with a flat shader brush. Don't blend it, Sally, it's not time. Then I'm going to take Peach Pit, which is like this purpley shimmery shade. I'm gonna put that in between the coral and the dark purple again is quite a dark purple they really I mean I've got three purples on my eye here and they all look the same color and I'm using a different side to the brush if you're wondering and the colors are so pigmented and stuff it's nothing like you know saying the palette's bad but I just thought they would be more like the shades in the pan the eyeshadow primer is kind of like in a blob on this eye I'm really having doubts about this I think I might bin it now that I think about it it is probably a year or two old so I should bin it now it's just like a patch on this eyeball it's like when you wax your eyebrows and you try to put foundation on and it like won't go on. That's what's happening right here. Why are you doing this? Put a really dark shade on. Then you can't really see. I'll set that white on the lower lash line with this shade here. It's called White Peach. My face looks so like scary when I do this. 
like a down angle. I'm going to take this shade here, which is called Bellini, this kind of like pinky shimmery one. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> totally lost it for a second there. I'm gonna put that before the coral shade. So it's turning into the like weirdest eye look ever, I swear. Because I keep thinking colours are gonna turn out looking differently. They're all a lot darker than they look in the pan. Now I'm just gonna go back in with these two crease shades and try to redefine and blend. Because they did get lost a little bit and this should hopefully bring everything together. Everything just looks so purple. That purple is so strong. I was not expecting that. I'm just going to put Nectar on my brow bone, which is this light shimmery one. It's kind of the only one light enough for the brow bone that has a shimmer. So, give that a go. It's quite a like goldy colour though. I'm just going to pat a small amount of glitter over that coral shade because I feel like it needs to just pop a little bit more. I feel like I always just go for glitter on the lid. Sorry if I'm so predictable, but I love the way it looks. Just gonna do a subtle glitter, like I said. That's so much better. Just can't stand like matte lids for some reason, unless it's for a smoky eye. But I don't know, I felt like the orange needed some more dimension. I'm just going to put some eyeliner on my lower lash line, kind of perimetering that white eyeliner. This is the shade... It's Never Over by Zoeva. Looks like a lip liner colour, but I feel like it will match this eyeshadow quite well. Then if you desire, you can apply liquid liner. I did such a sharp thing, thing in my bob on purpose because I wanted to do liquid liner. So I'm just going to do a standard black wing, but make it quite dramatic. Now for lashes I'm going to use the Ardell Glimmer Wispies. I love these. These are my favourite Ardell lashes. And I need to find some eyelash glue so I'll pop those on and come back. And for mascara I'm just going to use Benefit Roller Lash. And I opened a new one because my old one was kind of drying out and now I honestly cannot tell the difference and I don't know what one to keep. I'm just going to line my lips and do a lip colour. How lovely are these lashes? I hope you guys can see. Beautiful. They look really natural because they're like the wispy style, but they're so long. I just love them for a dramatic eye look. So I'm just going to use my model's prefer lip liner. If any of you have had your lip line tattooed and you really liked it, you should let me know. I've got these two beautiful lipsticks here from Estee Lauder and I cannot decide which one to wear. They're both from the Pure Colour Envy range and they just like, it was beautiful packaging, like it magnets together. Look at that, it like swivels on. I have this shade which I feel like would look really cool and vampy with this eye makeup. It's kind of warmer than the eyeshadow, it turned out so cool that purple, it's crazy. That's the shade Commanding and then this one is Volatile. And I think that would look really cool too. It's like a really orange. Oh, I can't decide. It's so difficult. I think I do usually go for a lighter lip. So why not do something vampy? It is colder here. But if you were in spring or summer. You could go for a lighter colour. So like I said. This one is called Commanding. So there we have the finished makeup. It turned out way more vampy than I expected. So here is what I came up with. It can give you some ideas. I mean, there's a lot of variations you can do in terms of looks in this palette. Hopefully this gives you a few more options if you do own this palette. And if not, you can just use any purple or coral eyeshadow. So that's it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this chatty tutorial. Apologies if it's a bit too long. Let me know because I would actually like to know if it's too long and I'll try to chat less next time but I was in a very chatty mood today. 
Hope you enjoyed seeing me try out the Sweet Peach palette for the first time. First impressions, very pigmented, love the smell, love the packaging, and I love the fact that it doesn't have an insert anymore. It's actually got like writing in here because my chocolate bar palette has like an insert. So I love that they changed that. The one thing that did throw me off a little bit was that these shades come out a bit darker and kind of bolder than they look in the pan, but it's still a beautiful palette and I would definitely recommend it, especially if you love like corals and purples and neutrals. Good luck if you're trying to get your hands on it because it's really hard to get, but I had faith and I managed to get it eventually, so fingers crossed you guys can get it too. Please leave me a like if you enjoyed the tutorial and also subscribe if you have not already. Have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye! Nice and hydrating. I've got more like dry combination skin. So this definitely isn't a really rough mask, but having the tea tree oil and the honey in there really helps with your scarring and any active breakouts. And I just find that it works so well and it makes your skin feel so amazing when you wash.